What is Crack Lack and Collectors? Click the tie in here again today with another Funko Pop review. Today we have the 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusives. That was a bit hard to get out. <laughs> right, so we have these three here. We have the Aliens from The Simpsons, and I also was lucky enough to pick up the Metallic Vegeta. Now these things are already at a high price at the moment, and I believe they're sold out pretty much everywhere. I was lucky enough to find one of these left over, and yeah, so we're gonna do a review on all these pops here today, you know, with Aliens and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna sit back, relax, and see what my rating turns out for these convention exclusives. As I said, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. All right, boys and ladies, before we start, if you guys do enjoy my videos, want to help me promote my videos, uh, drop a like if you do enjoy the video. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, or you've just come across another one of my videos but haven't subbed up yet, maybe you would consider helping me out there. That's totally your choice once again. And also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified for any collectible videos like that comes up in the future on my channel. I have quite a few things I do on this channel that you guys might enjoy. So yeah, guys, enough about that. Let's get into the review here. And I've got, we're we'll gonna start with one of these three. I think I'm gonna go with Johnny Rico first and we'll go from there, I think. All right, guys, so here is Johnny Rico. And I have to say, I'm super stoked about Starship Troopers being a Funko Pop. Uh, well, Rico being a Funko Pop from Starship Troopers. Now, I like to look at all the boxes here. Here's a little movie moment on the back there where he gets covered in all this gore from the from the buggy kills as it's replicated on the on the box there as well. That's really cool. It's got a really futuristic sort of like graphic, I guess, with the nice red and black. So I really like the box. And the blood splatter there too really gives it a nice touch. So let's get him outside the box and have a, have a bit of a look-see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is Rico. Now, I have to say, if Funko Pop is listening to my videos, which I highly doubt they are, I'd really like to see some more military style um, Funko Pops in the future. Like, I love the Halo ones they brought out and stuff, and this one is a nice one. But I'm talking more like, if they brought out our Saving Private Ryan Funko Pop range, I'd be super stoked. I just would be, I, I want some more military figures in my collection. If it's futuristic or even like from history movies, I'd really appreciate that. It'd be really cool if they brought more stuff out like that. But I'm rambling on too much here. I'm gonna talk about this. Okay, so look at the helmet here. We've got some really cool textures on the helmet. Very glossy helmet. You can see that shine coming right out of it uh, from the light there. It's very glossy finish. I love the blood splatter on the helmet there. It's also down the body too, if you can see that. It's all over the place, it's very messy. Got the generic sort of Funko Pop face, but the rest of the kit, uh, the military kit really sets him apart. It definitely looks like a Starship Trooper. You know, it's got that really cool flak armor. Whoops, nearly dropped him. As you can see there on the back there, flak armor on the, on the back and the front. Nice, nice details there. All those little military pouches on the side there. I think he's got a, uh, I think that might be a pistol. I'm not too sure, can't get in there to see. Uh, he's wearing gloves. He's got some really cool textures in the in the um, the pants there as well. And that epic uh, futuristic assault rifle they carry around in the movie the, to annihilate the bugs with. Quite a large weapon too, very bulky. Uh, but the thing I love about this the most is that tiny little tattoo. I don't know if you can see that, that death tattoo that the squad gets in the movie. Really, really nice touch there. I love little things like that on Pops. So massive points for this one. Uh, definitely a nice piece. Uh, I had to get one, I just love it. I love it. All right guys, head test for Rico, and his head is articulated, and it, it does turn all the way around if you want to pose him. And he's staying up perfectly fine there, guys, as you can see, really cool. Really nice balance on the gun there, so that's really good. I don't know how well they'll sell, but I'd definitely like to see some more aliens and characters from this franchise in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, moving on to the next one now, guys. All right, guys, up next, we've got some Dragon Ball Z. Just after last week, I did a Dragon Ball Z review on these pops here, actually. So if you guys want to watch that video, I'll link that in the bottom if you guys have come across this and you do want to see that. I am missing Nappa and Goten off that, off that video, though. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this guy in my hands for that review, but he has just got released last night. So we're going to have a look at him today and see what he's like. All right, guys, here we have Gotenks, uh, Ghost Kamikaze. And for those who don't know, you should know by now, uh, this is actually a move that he does. He sends all these little ghosts out and they go and blow up the enemy that he's fighting. And these are one of these. As you can see, guys, not much to talk about here. There's some nice colors. I like the transparency on the head. As you can see, it's very clear. Some of the parts of the hair there and in the tail there, it's very clear as well. And they've sort of finished it with a like a ghostly bluish grayish color spray over the top. And it works really well with the transparency, very ghostly looking. So I really like that, I like the blue eyes. That's a massive plus there. Um, massive fan of colored eyes, as you guys know. All right, head test for the ghost. Head is a bit uh, stiff, but it goes all right, guys. You can get some articulation out of that. And that's for the stand-up test. He's got a little base there, so he'll stand up perfectly fine. 
Comes on this little transparent base as well, so it gives that sort of floating uh, vibe, I guess. And I really like this one, guys. Not much else to talk about. There is a bit of a mold line in the back there, but you know, some, sometimes that can be a lot worse. Not a bad pop, this one. So let's move on to the next one now. All right, boys and ladies, up next, we have the exclusive limited edition uh, Metallic Red Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, I missed out on the gold one that came out like a couple months back, but I'm super stoked to have this one. I have the original uh, Super Saiyan Pop um, in my collection. Not much to talk about with, when it comes to chromes. Chromes are very prestige. Uh, they're, all, they're just one color chrome, and they just they look good and be blingy, I guess. But we're going to take him outside the box and have a look at him anyway. All right, guys, here is Vegeta in all his glory. Check out all that chromey goodness. Check it out, guys. I'm getting blind. I'm blind. I can't see nothing. Everything's black. I can't see a thing and also I can't feel anything either. Did I mention that? <laughs> it's just too shiny. The thing I don't like about holding these these pops is as you can see already my hands are already making this pop very dirty. So it's all one color so it's kind of hard to see. So there's nothing to really pick out individually I guess. But that's a beautiful pop. It's a definitely an exclusive piece that you want to get your hands on and I am super stoked that I have one. This was a fun one to, to track down I guess. All right, guys, head test for Vegeta, and it's stiff. I'm not going to even bother trying. I can just tell that's actually glued like that. Definitely a stiff piece. As for the stand-up test, he comes with a little base, so he'll stand up perfectly fine for you guys outside the box if you want to take him outside the box. But anyway, guys, not much to talk about when it comes to Vegeta. As I said, it's just there for the chromey goodness. So we're going to move on to a more detailed pop now and talk about that. All right, guys, this one here is something I really, really am keen on, really. Uh, man thing. Um, we'll take a look at the box. As you see, there's all these like comic book uh, strip things going on in the background there. And the actual drawing or the, the art on the actual piece itself looks really awesome. As you can see there, you can see that there. It's really well detailed and drawn. And I really like that. It's really cool. Really creepy. Another thing about this pop is quite hefty pop. Tons of weight in this one, which I love. I love heavy things. But we're going to take him outside the box and have a look at this ugly little bugger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the man thing. Now, just looking at it outside the box, uh, I think this will make my top one of my top 10 pops of 2019. I just love the amount of detail in this thing. You pretty much look at this thing all day and pick out all, all the bits of textures and things in it. It's, it's crazy detail, guys. It is ridiculous in a good way. Definitely, as I said, I, I think it's definitely going to be one of my favorites for this year uh, to come out when I do that video at the end of the year. But as you can see, guys, tons of texture in the plantation and all the vines and living things that's coming off this thing you've got all these vines as i said down the back you've got this little flower oh, i guess it's like a plant every little bit of individual like blobs and textures in this is just ridiculous you got these little mushrooms i can't remember what they're called but they grow off trees little, little steps on trees like I'll, I'll leave a picture in the corner they got these little mushroom things sticking out too that's really cool it's almost like he's wearing a nappy or a diaper. He's like underwear, I guess. So a little bit of different textures there um, in the groin area. Uh, the hands and the feet are definitely monst. It's definitely a monstrosity, guys. It's creepy. It's really cool. I like it. The face has got tons of texture on there as well, as you can see. Tons of texture. And the eyes, the red eyes, really make a pop. All right, um, head test for this crazy looking fellow here, and he's a bobblehead, so that's really interesting to see. It's good to see a bobblehead every now and then, guys. Something a little bit different. Tons of Star Wars ones have bobbleheads, so good to see this. I uh, like a bit of uh, variety. As for the stand-up test, tons of uh, space between the legs there. Tons of weight, too, so he'll be grounded quite nicely. And yeah, guys, you won't have any problems with this guy standing up. But anyway, guys, um, that is uh, the man thing, I think it is. Definitely uh, one of the best pops I picked up this year, I think. I love it. I love it. Moving on to the next one. All right, boys and ladies, up next we have the Treehouse Horror, Treehouse of Horror, The Simpsons, and we got the two aliens, Kudos and Clang. That's the names of them. I don't know which one's which, but whatever. Uh, we're going to take these guys out to the box and have a look-see. All right, guys, let's check out these guys. They're pretty cool. Um, these ones are glow in the dark as well, and I do like the color on these ones. It's a nice, vibrant green. Uh, I did test out the glow in the dark, and unfortunately, it's not dark enough to do so on camera. Uh, but I did last night when I got them, and they weren't that vibrant, they were quite dull. So I'm going to have to leave them out in the sun. I believe there's some sort of scientific thing behind glow-in-the-dark stuff. For some reason, UV light makes it amplified and recharges it or something like that. I've heard that, I don't know if that's true or not. Let's take that with a grain of salt, guys. Let me know in the comments if that works for you guys when you have glow-in-the-dark pops and you leave them out in the sun. It actually radiates the, the glow-in-the-dark. I'd like to know. But anyway, um, we're going to look at the details individually uh, here, as you can see. I can't remember which guy we're talking about here. Uh, they're both very similar in names and looks. So, you know, um, he's just got his mouth closed. Tons of drool coming out of the mouth there. And you can just see the teeth there. And he's got this big black eye in the center there. Black actually goes really well with this uh, light green too, I must admit. Very nice. Uh, what I really love about both of these, given that both have the exact same features, is this little dome 
like clear transparent uh, piece of plastic they put over the top of the heads as their helmets. I really like that touch. Really nice. You've got some texture here in the on the actual base of the helmet and nothing on the back there. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I like this guy, but I do like this one better. Um, this one is more aggressive, as you can see by the face there. The eyes are a little bit more dim and he's got a real sort of snarling face. Tons more drool coming out, and he's got a little pistol there on, on his left tentacle. Same sort of features, as I said before, with uh, the helmet. And also, looking at both of them, guys, uh, they've been cast pretty much the same, as you can see with the tentacles. They're basically the same cast there. The only difference is the pistol, as I said, and the heads. Really cool pops, these ones. I like the, the aesthetics of these ones. There's only like two boxes left when I got there, so pretty sure the other one would have been gone by now. As for the aliens, uh, both of these guys, I'm guessing, have the same sort of articulation when it comes to their heads. Yeah, guys, both of them are exactly the same, so that's good. Stand up test, as you saw before, they'll stand up nicely on their on their little tentacles there. So perfectly balanced with these two pops. All right, guys, so that's all the pops done. We're gonna move on to my rating now and talk about some of the things I like and dislike about these uh, Funko Pops. All right, boys and ladies, let's talk about these Funko Pops. I don't think I can fit the little ghost guy in there, but we're gonna talk about uh, my rating here. You guys should know by now how I do my rating is out of two parts of five, and then I equal those two parts of five into a 10, and that's a total score. But today we're gonna do this individually uh, between each pop. Uh, so let's start with uh, Rico. Rico is well painted guys nothing wrong with him no defects whatsoever i do like this one so that's gonna be straight five out of five for me uh as for the little ghost he does have a tiny bit of as you can see there mold lines i'm not a big fan of that guys they should be definitely cut off cleaned up before you paint them but um, i'm gonna give that a 4.5 for that one uh for the big beast here that's gonna get a five out of five guys everything on that was well done there's no defects on it whatsoever I'm really good pop this one for vegeta it's gonna get a five out of five as well for these two here i'm gonna give that uh I'm just gonna give that a flat four, guys. A flat four out of five, uh, because I wanted the glow in the dark to be more illuminated, I guess, and a, a lot more brighter when I got it. Unfortunately, um, it just it's, it's a bit lackluster when it comes to the, the glow in the dark feature. Uh, so I'm gonna give that a four. All right, so we're gonna move on to my other score here. We're gonna do a bit of a recap, and give, and I'm gonna give you guys some pans of these pops and talk about them for a bit. All right, guys. So we've got some decent pops here for this uh, convention. Uh, nice limited edition, so definitely pick these up when you can if you like any of these. There's tons more that came out too. But anyway, guys, we're going to move on to uh, Rico. Rico is a really nice pop. As I said, I'm into military stuff, and this thing is epic. Uh, I love the military kit, the helmet, and all that stuff. Definitely looks like he's part of a war, and I like the blood that they splattered on there as well. Super good one. I'm going to have to give that a 5 out of 5 for this guy. Um, that's a 10 out of 10 for the Rico there. For the Ghost, as I said before, nice looking pop. It's, it's a very funny pop, guys. I don't mind the colors of this one, and the blue eyes really make it stand out and the transparency is good too. I like the, the way they've designed it. Uh, that's definitely going to get a 5 out of 5 me as well. Definitely could pop that one. So that's going to be a 9.5 out of 10 for the Ghost. For the big green man himself, uh, this crazy looking thing. This thing's definitely going to make my top 10 uh, for the end of the year, guys. Uh, it's one of my favorite pops I've picked up this year. Tons of detail. Really, really, really aesthetically pleasing on this one. Uh, I could look at this thing for a couple of hours and just look at all the details and that's going to get a 5 for me. That's a 10 out of 10 for this, uh, this crazy looking thing here. I love it. It's uh, really cool. I'm going to give a 5 to the Chrome Virginia. There's nothing really wrong with this pop at all. Like it, it is what it is, guys. It's, it's a chrome piece. It's not there to look detailed. It's there to look shiny and pretty and expensive. And that's exactly what it represents. And I'm happy to have one, guys. I'm glad I got one in, in my collection. So I'm definitely gonna give that a five out of five. A nice piece, this one. I do like it. The red chrome really, really sets it apart from the silver stuff and the, the gold stuff. All right, guys. As for the aliens, uh, these two are really cool. Like they almost like little twins. Two twins that you have in a two pack. And I really like these ones. I do. I like the colors of this one. Um. I'm, as I said, guys, these are uh, glow in the dark feature uh, pops. The the green really goes well with these these aliens. I really do like them. Really cool. I love the little domes they like the helmets they put around, like the fishbowl helmets. They've done a really good job on them um, doing that, and the, the clear transparency on the on the spit as well. It looks really good, guys. I really like the aesthetics of these ones. Uh, definitely something to pick up if you're a massive fan of The Simpsons, uh, which I am, or earlier stuff at least. I'm definitely gonna give that a five out of five, guys. And the total score there will be nine out of ten. So really nice stuff, guys. Yeah, guys, uh, these pops are really good. Um, there's tons more that came out too. I couldn't get every one of them because, as I said, these guys are quite expensive to pick up. So, yeah, guys, I got the ones I wanted anyway. So, I'm pretty happy about getting these uh, six pops here. And, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed the video, once again, drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell if you have not if you have subscribed so you're up to date with all the stuff I'm doing. And, yeah, guys, you guys have a really good weekend. And if you get the chance, go out and hunt for some of these pops and some of the other pops that are available at the moment and get them while they last, guys. So, yeah, guys. As I said, enjoy your weekend. I'm going to leave it with you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one, eh? All right, click start on it.